A market in London's East End, selling everything from ones and twos, shoes, to Uncle Reg, veg. Traditionally, it's here, in the sound of the bells of St Mary Le Beau Church, that you'll find the city's cockney culture and its unique rhyming slang. Have a cup of Rosie Lee, a cup of tea. <laughs> a cock and hen tin, apples and pears, stairs, round the houses, trousers. Then you've got a pony, which is 25. And then you've got a monkey, which is 500. And where better to withdraw a pony or a monkey than a cockney cash machine? You can get a balance on the Charlie Sheen, that's the screen. You can get a balance on Fleet Street, that's when the balance is on a paper receipt. Or you can get sausage and mash, which is cash. So we'll ask for sausage and mash, which is nice and easy. So here you can select a speckled ten, which is ten. Or if you're feeling very affluent, you can select a nifty, which is fifty. I'm going to go for a double top, which is forty pounds. Ron hopes his bilingual machines will spark new interest in a dialect rarely heard on the streets of London. Today, the East End is home to a wide range of cultures and languages. Here, Cockney has made way for a new variety of English. The inner London area, where we might um, think as being the heartland of Cockney, we have a new community, so we have lots of different people from different cultures um, and different ethnic groups. Um, who are now mixing together and they each bring their own variety of English with them. But even if the Cockney cash machine is fighting a losing battle against a linguistic tide, at least EastEnders will be able to have a bit of a giraffe, a laugh, along the way.